Hey, it's Jiso, and I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to talk about Yang. Yeah, the final boss of Sifu. At first, he may appear as an apex predator. He beat your ass repeatedly, and maybe he even made you quit the game altogether because you just couldn't beat it. But today, we're going to go in depth in how exactly you can defeat him without, well, easily. He is the funniest boss, in my opinion, and he's not really that tough. By the time you come here, you should have pretty much parry impact maxed out, as well as structure and... Well, that's it. Right off the bat, something you need to know about Yang is that you can't be so aggressive with him. He's going to punish you and yeah, that's all you need to know about him. The whole game you've been beating people, aggressing them violently, using your kung fu. But against Yang, you have to let him come to you. That's the one thing you need to remember throughout the fight and you'll be fine. The one thing you can do to make this fight so much easier on you is use the staff and just parry. Just parry him and he's going to go down in no time. Occasionally he's going to go for a low and that's the one time you have to be ready to dodge low. Other than that, just keep parrying. Even the, even the sweep he's going to do, you can parry. So everything you can parry except one move I wouldn't recommend parrying, but it's in the second phase, so right now, just keep parrying, block, and then parry. Every time you see him go backwards like that, it means it's your turn, it's your turn to hit him, but just give him two or three hits, and that's it, because you, you can overdo it, he's going to punish you. That That's your cue. Punish, see, right there, you need to be very fast when, after he stands, due to you parrying, otherwise he's going to punish you again. So now we just wait. We just wait for him to do something. That that was a cue to hit him, but we didn't. We weren't fast enough. This is good. See, just just be keep parrying. He's going to go down eventually. He's not really tough. He just he's just so aggressive. He's getting punished for being aggressive. And if you are aggressive with him too, you're going to get punished. Right now he's going to go for a low. And you can tell by his animation, he goes back very fast and he then he rushes at you and that's the one time you need to be dodging low or just parrying. Always be mindful of your structure or posture bar as well because you don't want it to be to completely be filled. And once in a while you can dodge just to have it go. Every time you per perform a perfect dodge, it slightly decreases so you want to mix up between parrying and dodging. And the First phase is pretty much easy. You, you just tap L1 and all the block button, and that's it. There's nothing tough about this fight, really. But the first time you come here, you're going to get demolished because you've been playing aggressively the whole game. You want to show off your kung fu, but here's the thing: he knows your kung fu. So every time it's neutral and nobody's attacking, just wait for him to make the first move. Either dodge it or parry it and you'll be good to go. Don't rush, you have all the time in the world. Even by taking it slow, the fight can be over in 3 minutes, phase 1 and phase 2. Just don't overcommit and never forget that you can cancel your animation. When you see that he's going to punish you when you're about to attack, just tap the block button and you'll be able to cancel your animation before he reaches you. You can either dodge, block, or dash backwards to cancel anything and you'll be safe. Right now, by the time you watch the video and you start paying attention, you'll see that you can pretty much tell what he's about to do before he even does it low. See, it's it's so he is maybe the most telegraphed boss in the game. You can you can tell, and this is why it's my favorite boss because it's very fast paced. Then comes phase 2 and here more than ever you need to take it slow. That one move, that one move is the one you should always try to dodge because it does massive damage to your posture and if it, it catches you off guard it's going to destroy you. And it's very easy to dodge that one, just have to flick your thumb and that's it. You, you need to follow the rhythm. He has a rhythm like foo 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 and you have to flick your thumb just like that like foo foo foo. See? Let's wait for him to do it. And every time he goes for elbow, 
when he hits you with his elbow, is he's going to do the move where he goes backwards and tries to and tries to hit you with this foo foo foo. Come on, do it. Come on, Yang. No. And it's the same thing you have to do. You have to be bad parrying him and blocking. Parrying, blocking and making sure you pay attention to your posture. You can tell when he's about to go for that move, like that, when he gives you the elbow, he is going to go backwards, no matter how far you are from him, even very next, like very close to him, he's going to hit you with his elbow and go for the foo foo foo. So just be ready. You just have to be paying attention a lot and also mind your surroundings. Never be too close to a wall. You don't want to be pushed back and hit the wall because he's going to capitalize on that and hit you again. Always recenter yourself and be sure that you're never too close to a wall and you'll be fine. Occasionally he, he'll do that one move but hopefully you have time to react and dodge or just parry that. What I, what I usually do is that every time he's about to attack I am blocking just in case I don't get surprised. And when he does that, when his hand is down and he's about to go for a back fist, you know about the charge back fist because you also have the move. Don't attack him. Every time he has his arm, you, if you know about the animation, you know what I'm talking about. He's going to punish you if you try to attack. Also, you can use crook foot which is very, very good against him because you'll be parrying a lot. And it guarantees it's going to knock him down, allowing you to hit him once or twice. See, right there, don't do anything. Just wait for him to reset and that's it. Do not, do not attack him when he's like that, charging his fist. In no time, you should get rid of Yang. He's very, very easy when you know what you're doing. Don't rush it and just pay attention to his animations. Foo foo foo. Those you can either block or dodge. Personally, it comes down to what you want to do, but yeah. Every time he notices that you're dodging too much, he's going to go for a low. So that's the one thing to keep in mind. Dodge, but be wary of the low. See? Just be just be mindful, and this is why you are always safe when parrying because it's neither up or down. But if you dodge, be wary of the sweep. It's going to come. Most of the time he's going to start his combos with an uppercut. And when that happens, this uppercut. You want to be able to dodge it because he's going to combo off that and take half your life. You don't want that to happen and this is also why you can be too aggressive. He can do it every time. But keep in mind it's a starter. He cannot do it mid combo. He's always going to start with it and that's it. So just wait for him to whiff it and punish it. Like that. See, you either block it, parry it or just dodge it. But you don't want to receive it in the face. It's going to knock you down very fast. And here is a very good example of why you shouldn't stay too close to a wall. You're going to bounce off it and it's going to damage you. And if you're already in low health, you're dead. Long story short, parry, parry, parry. Mind your posture. Don't be aggressive. And you will be fine. Trust me. It gets easier. You just have to pay attention. I hope you like the video and you find it destructive and hopefully you destroy this guy because he deserves it. He killed our father and mentor so he deserves the hate. But also go for the wude or whatever ending. Here's hoping this video helps you in your quest for revenge and I want to know who, is your, who your favorite boss is in the game so be sure to comment and yeah subscribe. Bye bye. Mm.